editing objects out of your photos. That's what we're going to be covering today. We're using Photoscape X and many other softwares have the ability to do this, but this is a free photo editing software and that's why I choose to use it. We're going to be using some different tools today and there's different methods of how to remove this stuff, but if you follow along, I believe I can help you a lot if you're looking at some product photography or different things where you have to maybe remove some objects in post-production in the editing process. So uh, in this photo here, we have body armor. Uh, it's a drink that I uh, enjoy. And just because I enjoy the drink, not because like I'm sponsored or anything like that, because I'm not, uh, I decided, hey, I'm going to make a video um, about this stuff. And I wanted to take some product photos to add into the video. So I was taking some photos and I thought, hey, you know, yeah, you can do your classic, you know, um, line them all up type thing or, or maybe like this or stuff like that. But I thought, hey, wouldn't it be neat if I had somewhere they're like toppling over or something? But it's saying, well, you know, you're probably going to end up with like your finger or something holding them up. And you're also probably going to end up with at least a little bit of an object that needs to be removed. Because like, let's say there's something like this one. This image turned out okay, and uh, you know it's my finger trying to move out of the way of the camera. But the thing is, then you're gonna have your object most likely moving or falling over, or toppling over, or something. And it might be blurry or out of focus um, when it's doing that. So a key would be, hey, you know, remembering that if you do have to hold on to it, you can remove it in post production, in the editing process later. So uh, let's look at this image here and do some removing. So we're gonna remove the hand, the uh, person's finger in here. Uh, let's uh, see what we can do here. So uh, first of all, the easiest pro way to do this for people who have Photoscape X Pro would be to use the Pro Tool Clone Stamp. Some softwares have this, some softwares it's a paid option or things, but it's really nice. Basically you can click on a portion of the image, then you can go paste it on different parts. So if I wanted to make two water bottles or two uh, bottles here I could go I could paste this over here and depending on your strength you can make it like here where it's like 50% strength or you could go all the way up to a hundred and when you're at a hundred percent strength yeah you're literally like cutting over you're just bringing a whole nother one into the image so uh, you can do that but in this case uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the person's hand so you'll be uh, taking from one section of the image and then you'll be pasting over and you'll be pasting right over the person's finger and you know in time and in practice you'll be able to potentially master something like this to where hey you can make those edits and changes and things and you're able to do it in such a way that it's not very noticeable at all so uh, very nice there and then you would go and you would clone stamp out the rest of the person's hand and sometimes it can be really easy other times it can be quite difficult or quite hard um, but it's something that in time you can usually learn it you can pick up it pretty pretty quickly and be up and going so i'm just here using this tool and Let's see, that's a uh, wrong shade there, in my opinion. It's definitely a difference in shade. I'm going to turn the strength down here. See if I can just like take some shades from both sides and just like slowly remove it without making it look terrible or anything. Then we might go back and we might use something like the blur tool and we might just go over some different areas and blur it, uh, blur it a bit to give it a nice overall look. Maybe I'll blur the edge, just give it a, a vignetting style or something like that. All right, uh, but nonetheless, you have it. You're done. You've taken out the, the hand out of the image. Now, you had to use kind of a pro tool to use it. Now, let me show you. Uh, a free way you could do it okay so um, before we do all that let me just uh, let me just save this because sometimes I'm I'm bad about saving things saving it as a project so I can go back later and do it uh, cool all right so we have that all saved up and we're good 
then we're going to go back and I'm going to show you a free way to to make this happen all right so we're back to the original here's what you could use uh, spot heal would be really cool uh, but that's uh, that's probably not gonna work because if you go over just like the finger area here because it's two separate objects 99% of the time you're gonna end up with some rough edits where it's stuck on there even more and it looks even worse uh, so what you could do is you could go to um, I'm gonna give you the uh, draw tool here basically what you would do with the draw tool is you're gonna go and select a color that's already in the image select some kind of a brush that you feel like would be good here and you're gonna go over this image maybe we gotta make that brush a bit stronger here Not looking super great here, guys. Uh, now, yes, I do have more, uh, more potential uh, like ways to fix this. So don't be like, man, he doesn't know what he's doing. It's like, uh, let me show you a few other ways after I show you this uh, free option, free way of doing it. Um, All right, cool. Okay. Sure, and then you could go back and you could blur it. And that is using all free software, uh, free tools in Photoscape X to do that. Works out okay. And if there's different edits or different things that you see and you're like, oh, that doesn't look super great, you could go back and you could continue to, you know, make some changes or adjustments to see what might uh, make the image look really good. Now, let's do another way to do this. Uh, so. Another way you could do this is if you go back to the original, okay, uh, you could, if you have many photos from this photo shoot, you could do something like this. You go to the eraser, hit erase, go over here. Actually, this might be the superior option here. The other one was okay, but it wasn't like super amazing. Okay, and I could have zoomed in more to maybe do a better job there. All right, now we're gonna zoom out, put that up here. Cool. So we got that up and around, very nice. So we have it removed, okay? Now, what you would do is if you weren't sure if you got everything just right, you would just hit show mask You'd go back in here and you could subtract some stuff if you feel like maybe you took away too much of it. So yeah, you can definitely do some different things in there. If you're wanting to make sure your adjustments is just right, you can hit apply there. And then that's going to make that transparent. Now, at this point, you actually could paint over that. But here is an option that you could do. You could go to save. Hit save as. Save it as a PNG image and we're just going to save this to desktop so I can find it real quick. Okay, so we have that we've saved it out as a PNG file. Okay, you have the close um, and then we're going to instead of dropping the original image in, check out this image that I have here. This image is a very similar image, but this is one where it fell over, it was blurry, all this stuff, but the reason why uh, I have this image and I saved it is because I'm like, hey, this has the top part, non where there's no hand, there's there's nothing distracting it. 
Therefore, I could insert the image into here. I could put it up here. And it actually looks pretty close. Now, here's something interesting in here. So you can definitely see that, hey, this is transparent here. You drop it over, but you're like, hey, the shading's a bit off. Well, wouldn't you know there's a way you could still make this work? Because here's the thing, because this image is selected, but this is your main image here. This is the image that still has full editing capabilities on it. So I can go over here to the color and I can slide that brightness up. And I can basically match it. Like you can zoom in here and get really technical in here uh, if you want to. So, oh, there's the before and there's the after. So you're like, maybe I want to bring that down just a hair. And, you know, probably this part by the, by the lids is the most important part to match. The rest of it you can match later. So you can do that. Looks really nice. At this point, what I would do is actually, you know, if there's a part that still looks a bit off, here's what I would do. Like this corner thing still looks a bit off. What I would do is I would zoom in to that corner part so you could see um, see the difference there. Then you can go back to color. You can go to mask. And you could go and just select that area of difference. Yeah. And then you can, let's see, I think it's actually darkening it a little bit. Ooh. It literally gets to the point where you're like, I can't really tell anymore. Can you tell me again where that edit was, where that change happened? Because it basically gets to the point where you're like, I can't tell anymore. Oh, man. Looks pretty good. And then you can hit apply. And then if you're still, like if you're a perfectionist and you still aren't happy with how good that looks you can go to layers you can hit merge all layers so it's all merged into one image now you can go back over here and if there's any section that you really think is like it's still not absolutely perfect like maybe you could say up there is not absolutely perfect you can go to the blur tool or you can go to spot heal and you can do your thing personally i think this looks incredible how good this looks. original well okay the original is the that original object there but being able to drop that in makes it look really nice um, at this point you can still go back and hit go and figure out your sharpness your coloring all this different stuff for your image but that's how you do it that's uh three different ways i think that the clone stamp tool is super great it's not absolutely necessary but then also using that cutout if you have an original photo of the wall it can be super helpful and then being able to do that color uh, just shifting and adjusting can also be super impactful as well. So you guys, that is how to remove an object from an image. Um, and these are specific objects that were like propping things up or holding things. So don't be afraid to have something like that in a photo, in an image, because if you know your software well enough, or you were able to follow this tutorial and learn it here today, uh, you'll be able to say, Hey, it actually doesn't matter. Keep your finger there. Uh, hold that. Yeah. Yeah. That's totally fine. Um, you do it if you wanted to make it even simpler if you could like hold it up with like a pen or like string lines fishing line different stuff like that you can make it super simple as well and it'd be even smaller uh, amount of e editing later uh, but nonetheless you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye